I'm with Steven Keeler. We have three patio games at the moment. We usually keep three or three outside in the summertime. We have some gatherings and whatnot. A lot of fun. Then we have a shed over here. It looks like a normal shed, except for maybe an elephant ride and a lion and some stuff out front. Inside we have pinball machines. And also we have some circus and carnival memorabilia with some games that were related in the circus and carnival realm. They have a Italian made uh, devil riders from Zachariah. We have a 1980 Gottlieb circus. Of course this doesn't fit in the theme of things, the Close Encounters. And neither do the Baywatch or the NBA Fast Break, but uh, they ended up here. We have an old Indianapolis driving game. And we have a messy popcorn machine, a Baywatch, and a gun game that's rather buried with different stuff. And we have some various 1950s, 60s, and 70s uh, authentic circus posters decorating this, this building. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next place. We've only had, we have rain every day, so it's like a monsoon out here. Like a swamp, I guess. Not actually, it was a monsoon that caused a swamp. This is our, what we call the pirate shed. Once again, another bunch of pinballs. One of the favorite hangouts of our pinball club when they come over. We have an old, uh, Invaders from Mars, which is an old shooting blacklight gun game. We have, I believe there's 12 or 13 pinballs at least in here. We have a Nitro Ground Shaker, a Power Play, a Baseball, Pitch and Bat, a Pennant Fever, star, two couple Star Wars games. Put a little light on for you. We got a little bar in the back, and cable TV, some neons, we have a pirate based themed uh, pinball machine, we have Star Race, Volcano, Superman, Atlantis, various uh, decorations and memorabilia, and of course some uh, old 1970s Slurpee Cups, and Paragon, and Future Spa, a Genie, and No Fear, we have a main machine that has just about every video game ever made, and uh, simulated pinball machines in, and uh, I guess that's about it for the tour of the Stephen Keeler's uh, home, and uh, we're going to pick this video.